So let's talk about the drawing process for a typical Evil Ink page. As you can see, I start with a template I built in Clip Studio Paint, and I've got a number of layers I can activate or deactivate to change the overall order and layout of the panels. My first step after I've decided on my page layout is to do the word balloons. The words are the most important thing on the page. There's nothing more important. These have to be placed right and placed so they can be readable very, very quickly or else the whole thing's going to fall apart. I always say no one's going to read your comic if they can't read your comic. Next, we move on to the penciling. As you can see, I use the 3D models in Clip Studio so I can keep my character's anatomy accurate and also so I can make quick work of those backgrounds. It's really important to stay loose at this point, to keep everything nice and flowing. Things are going to tighten up later when you do the inks, but when you're doing the pencils, you want to stay loose. Pay attention to this next part. I am always adjusting those word balloons. I can't stress this enough. They're the most important thing on the page. You also saw me write a little note to myself there. I'll do that quite often to make sure that I keep things consistent from panel to panel. And in that case, it was the number of fingers on that pterodactyl. If you'll notice, I'm also sketching in two different colors. That's because I tend to sketch on a number of separate layers. Each one has a different color. And that way, if I screw something up, I can change just the items on that layer. For example, you see me use purple for hair quite a bit. That's because hair tends to vex me as an artist. I often get the hair wrong. So I'll do it on a separate layer so I can straighten out the hair or make any changes without screwing up the face. The next time we get together, we'll take this page from inks all the way to final art. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.